Good morning guys. Day four, working on this car. I'm gonna start my day off by, uh, since I'm leaving to go work for my dad this weekend in Monticello, I'm actually going to run to the hardware store and when at the hardware store, I'm gonna pick up a longer socket bit that I can put into the screw gun because my screw gun's got a lot more power than I do as far as getting some of these engine bolts off. And then what I want to do is I do want to finish the hood today. So I'm going to put a lot of energy into finishing the hood. But, but, a big but. I also want to open up the motor just enough to have access to the cylinders. Because if I can access the cylinders, I could dump WD-40 all over them. Thus, maybe after the three days that I'm going to be gone, allow them to loosen up. So... Finish the hood, get to the cylinders, dump WD-40 on them, go out of town to work. It's only about 40 minutes away, so I'm actually going to work pretty close. But, quick update on that. Let's get started with the day, going to the hardware store. All right guys, we're going to the shop. It's raining out. All right, set up my set up my bench vice like that. Sturdy, kind of fun. I bought this guy. Rigid, way better. The old guy. Uh, the old guy I was using was actually a uh, piece of shit. The old guy I had was a, a 750 Revolutions Max. This one's a, uh, that one's a 2700. So, 2,000 more spins per second. I was having so much struggle, I was struggling to fucking take the paint and rust off the front. With this thing, I think it's gonna be no problem whatsoever. Uh, I also picked up this guy. That's a, I uh, wonder if it'll focus on him. It's a 16 rivet per inch, uh, three fourths inch bolt that's gonna go into the front of my engine so I can try to crank it over. See if that works. Uh, other than that, I got my, I got my Hitachi grinder, sander, metal cutter. So I got that, it didn't come with any discs, so I picked up a, a cutter. That's the thinner one right here that cuts. This bigger one grinds and also buffs. I guess it was grind. And this is a metal cutter and grinder. This one is just a metal grinder. Uh, what else did I pick up? Today I picked up some of this. High recommendations, it's called the Must for Rust Crud Cutter. Protects for 12 months, so you just rust remover inhibitor. Spray it on the rest and it goes away. Uh, what else did I get? I got a couple toolboxes that came. Something else came last, a couple, I mean a lot of stuff came last night. But I got my jack stands here, the three ton jack stands. So two of them. Yeah, I got my work light over there in the car. What I'm gonna do probably is first put that bolt on the engine, try to crank it over, see how that goes. And then I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna do the floor. Well, actually I wanna do the hood. I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys when I do the hood. I'm gonna get all the paint off the entire hood. I picked up some tape, I'll show you guys. I picked up some paint from the, uh, let's get some light on me. Come on, up here. Oh! So I picked up some tape from uh, the hardware store for painter tape. So I'm just gonna tape off the edge of the hood once I finish the whole hood. I'm gonna paint the top of the hood and do that. And then I can have him done. I'm gonna spray it down with that mist. And then uh, maybe, if I'm feeling up to it, uh, last thing I'll do is probably hit it with some of this stuff. Some of this primer filler. Basically, it just fills deep scratches and sands easily. Automotor, automotive primer, ideal for metal, glass, and wood, fiberglass and wood interior and exterior so some filler primer whatever something to help i'll keep you guys up to date but that was a little check-in of what's going on today my goal is to get the entire hood done and coated in that rust remover 
and my goal is also to put that bolt in there and try to turn the motor, see how bad off we are as far as if this, if this motor is going to run or not. Check in in a bit. What's up guys, I'm on my way, Midwest Stars. So today was day four of uh, car restoration. Uh, what you saw was pretty much the biggest thing that I did. What I did was I sanded down everything down to the bare metal and the uh, spots that were real rusted, I just sanded as much of the rust off as I could. And then what I did was I took this product it's uh, like a rust remover, but uh, basically it just inhibits rust from continuing to rust. It's like a primer as well. So the best case thing was just for me to sand all that stuff down. Uh, because I knew that I had limited time, I only did half of the uh, truck, half of the uh, lid on the hood. So after I did half of it, I taped it off, went around the edges and I probably use 75% of the can just on the left side of the of the hood. As soon as I finished doing that, I actually really liked like the finish, nice, okay, this side's done look, so I ordered another one. The whole can is only like $5 on Amazon Prime, so uh, definitely picked up one of those. Another one of those. So I'm on my way now. Uh, after that, I just went around with this rust spray and I sprayed down basically every single spot on the car that I could and yeah so it's supposed to turn the rust into something else which is great that's uh that's day four because I have to go work now I'm not going to get too many opportunities to do anything else I did not get a chance to get into the cylinders uh my drill is not strong enough to do the nuts and I was unable to I'm not sure what it was. I think it was either the last time I was using the socket, but the socket actually slipped off of there because I used that liquid wrench on it. I don't know. I'm rambling at this point now. Thanks for watching. Day four. I'll show you the process of me doing the painting and sanding and all that jazz. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, day four, 1965 Barracuda restoration. Done. Check in with you guys at the end of the weekend. Deuces.